Today we're going to be looking at how to perform maintenance on your Bamboo Lab P2S. You are going to need a couple of things and everything you do need will be linked down below in the description. So to start with you're going to need some clear synthetic oil. I use this one from Amazon which says it's specifically for 3D printers. But if you're made of money or you do this a lot then you can buy the Superlube synthetic oil. And speaking of Superlube you're going to need some synthetic grease which I use this one because it's quite readily available for me on Amazon and it will take about 10 years to use this amount. I've also got some 70 plus percent alcohol wipes. Everything you do use should be lint free. I've also got some microfibers, high quality ones usually don't leave traces and fibers behind. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean and lubricate our X axis, which might sound complicated, but it's those two rails that you see in the top of the printer there, which move the tool head side to side. I would recommend that you take off this top glass and put it somewhere safe first. This is going to give us better access. Then we're going to grab our finest microfiber that we can find. Then we're going to slowly start pulling on our X rail to give us some better access. It's important that whenever you pull on these rails that you do it slowly and carefully. They should be difficult to pull but not impossible. And as always do this with the machine turned off. Now I'm going to take my microfiber and give both of those rails a good scrub. I think mine still had some factory oils on because it was really difficult to rub it first but then it became easier the cleaner it got. Try to avoid rubbing or pulling on those belts that are in between as well as they're not really part of what we're trying to clean here. If you see any dust or filament stuck to them though you can clean that off. I then took one of my high percentage alcohol wipes and just gave everything a quick clean down. Once you've cleaned an area you can move the tool head to clean underneath it. Now that you've done all that and your alcohol has evaporated away it's time to grab our synthetic oil. They recommend one to two drops of oil for every five centimeters or that's roughly two inches. Given the nature of oil you might end up with this going everywhere. Just try not to get it on the belts and if you do try and clean it off with some alcohol. It can be a little bit stressful the first time but just know you can also clean your build plate if anything drops on it. And once you put those drops on as even as you can, it's time to grab the tool head and run it over them. You should do this process quite slowly because as you run it over, it will help coat the whole rail in that oil. Moving that has now made me free so I can do the rest of it. It's really not an exact science, just try your best. And then you want to grab hold of that tool head and start moving it side to side. Bamboo Lab recommend three to five times with this is enough to coat the rail fully in oil. And then you want to take a little bit of cloth and just wipe the ends if there's any extra oil that shouldn't be there. Because if we did apply too much it would all pull up at either end. And we have just successfully finished lubing our X rail. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to lubricate the Y rail. Which is extremely similar to the one we've already done. Except this time there's one of these rails on either side of the printer. They're not both stacked together. This one is much harder to get into access and clean though, so I recommend just hitting it with an alcohol wipe and trying to clean as much of it as you can. Again, you can clean a portion and then you just push our tool head back and you can clean under where it was. For the Y rail, you also want to be using that same synthetic oil. And you also want to be applying it at the same ratio of one to two drops for every five centimeters or two inches. If it starts giving you grief or just trying to run away, then wipe it up with that alcohol wipe. Once you've done that, again we're looking to slowly move that tool head backwards and forwards to coat those rails fully in oil. Moving it slowly will help it spread around much better and grab onto the rail. Again, you might want to wipe the ends if any has pulled up there, but other than that, that is how you lubricate the Y rail. Third thing we're going to look at today is greasing and oiling our Z axis, which is the bed. So anything that's moving up and down is what we're looking at. And for this, you're going to need to turn the printer on because the printer is going to do a lot of the work here. So first things first, you're going to go into the manual control settings on your touchscreen and just hit home, which will tell us if everything is as it still should be after what we've done already. Then once it's finished homing, just start hitting the bed down until it hits the bottom. And then once you arrive there, you're going to want to grab your synthetic grease and apply a few small blobs up and down the screw. There are three of these screws, one located in the back and two near the front door. So we're just looking to put a couple of small even blobs on and then the bed is going to do all the work for us and spread this over the threads. So this is all done with grease, but there is a part here that needs some oil putting on. Next to these screws you'll see a shiny rod that is just like that Y and X axis that we've already worked on earlier. So you want to lubricate that, that is basically the Z rod. 
and we're doing it the same as we did before with one to two drops for every five centimeters. So grease goes on the screws with threads and the oil goes on anything that's smooth. So just remember that and don't try oiling the threads. Once you've applied that as best you can, then we return to our display and just start hitting up on the bed. You'll start to see it going over that grease and just spreading it throughout the threads. You'll want to go up and down three to five times. If you mash the button on the display, it does go a lot quicker. Something else to note while you are there lifting up and down the bed is that these long screws have a ball bearing at the bottom. Now this is not a maintenance thing you need to do very often, but because it's the first time I've ever done it, I'm going to apply a little bit of oil to that bearing. Just a really small amount, ever so slightly, so it will keep it lubricated. Now the last thing that we're going to need to check and oil involves turning the printer around because you're going to find it on the back. And that is with the point where you lubricate that XY pulley belt. It's unusual to add oil to the top of a belt, but this belt is spinning around a bearing at high speeds. And a tiny bit of lubrication, just one drop or two drops, will reduce the belt wear significantly, or that's what Bamboo Lab claim. So there's one of these at either side of the printer, and according to Bamboo Lab, to better access it, you should push the tool head all the way to the left. And you'll see the pulley inside the machine start to spin. This bit's quite difficult to get on video, but you'll see what I mean when you actually get there. You can see the belt and then you can see there's a spring behind it and stuff. You're aiming for the top of the belt with a few drops of oil. They recommend that you do this every three to six months, just like with the rest of this lubricating maintenance, but that's up to you. I'm probably gonna do this just once and then forget about it. Like I said, there's another one of these on the right hand side of the back of the printer. And to get to that one, you just need to move the tool head all the way to the right, just like we did with moving this one to the left. It's difficult to see if you've actually got any oil there, so do your best. Another footnote is while you're in here, you might want to replace the carbon filter that's included with your P2S. Bamboo Lab don't give a specific life on this, they just say when it becomes extremely dirty. So do what you can with that information. You don't need any tools to remove it, just get a fingernail in there and it'll pop off and then you can easily remove the filter. Last thing, after all that we've done today, Bamboo Lab recommend you fully recalibrate the machine after every time you do maintenance. A lot of its calculations are performed on how much force it takes to move the tool head and etc. So by lubricating everything, we've just changed how it works. If you need to print right away though, I'm pretty sure it will work just fine. I haven't shown them in this video either, but you can use the grease and oil that come included with your P2S, obviously but I'm assuming for most people, these are only three grams. You will run out of those very quickly. So that's why I've put some links down in the description to the 3D printer oil that I use and also the Super Lube grease. Thanks for coming and watching this quick maintenance guide. If you found it helpful, give us a like or even better, subscribe. I have a lot more interesting 3D printing content on the way.